Joe Rogan recently had Alonzo Bodden on his podcast. For 12 minutes of that podcast, they talked about guns and gun laws. I feel these types of conversations are a great insight into the way a lot of people in this country see guns and gun laws. Unfortunately, a good amount of that information that was shared on this video was misinformed. So that the people that need to see this are inclined to actually watch it, I'm gonna address each point in a series of videos to keep them short and shareable. Cool, and and you know, I get it. Like, I'm, you know, it's funny, because people say that, people have accused me of being anti-gun, and I'm like, no, I'm not anti-gun, I'm pro-common sense. I'm pro-common sense, but. Actually, it's called a magazine, not a clip. But I hear a lot of people make this mistake often. So out of the gate, your common sense about guns is wrong. What were but, your thoughts on gun laws before this? Did you think that people don't need to have guns? No, I never thought people don't need so to have guns. So why do you think you did? Because I've talked about, like, we, we don't need 50-round clips. You know, I had a joke. I said, listen, I got a 50-round clip for self-defense. I'm like, if 50 people want to kill you at the same time, Maybe it's you. <laughs> you know, perhaps there's some part of your personality you need to look at. People need 50 round magazines because bullets aren't death rays. In movies, people fly back 50 feet and die immediately when they're shot once in the leg. However, in real life, people don't always stop doing what they're doing, much less die immediately when they're shot once, twice, or even seven times. Criminals usually attack in pairs or more, and we've already established that people don't stop or go down instantly after being shot. So reality dictates we need as many rounds as possible because we don't know what kind of threat or how many threats we're gonna to have to deal with if that day comes. In the movies, people never miss. In reality, people miss all the time. Not everyone has time or money to become John Wick and never miss a shot. The act of shooting is easy. Shooting accurately is hard. Shooting accurately under pressure is even harder. In a self-defense situation, things are chaotic and there's more pressure than you can imagine because it's your life. So yes, we want as many bullets as possible because we might miss and I don't deserve to die just because I couldn't stop my attacker with the number of bullets you arbitrarily feel I should have. When someone wants to commit a mass shooting, they have all the advantage of bringing as much ammunition as they want. Where we, the regular people, are stuck with the amount of ammo we can carry practically on ourselves as we go throughout life minding our own business. And guess who's the first line of defense if there is a mass shooter? The people, the mass shooter, is coming to shoot. Carrying a gun and going through life is hard enough. Why artificially limit the amount of ammo people will have if evil decides to rear its ugly head? If my gun can carry 15 rounds, let me carry 15 rounds. If it carries 50 rounds, let me carry 50 rounds. Because a mass shooter is gonna come with as many rounds as they possibly want. Whether there's a magazine capacity of 20 rounds, 10 rounds, or 11, they're gonna do it anyway. They're breaking the law anyway. They're coming to murder people. Then there's riots and looting. If a swarm of people start attacking your home, you telling me you're gonna want the least amount of ammo possible? We're literally watching this play out now. And when this interview was filmed, it was before all the rioting and the looting, which goes to show you, you may think you don't need it now, but just like that overnight, you'll be begging for a 15 round magazine. But most importantly, I need a 50 round magazine because I have a right to. And before you say you don't have a right to own a magazine, you have a right to own a gun. If you can ban 50 rounds in my magazine, then you can ban 20, 10, or even two rounds in my magazine. The Second Amendment preserves the right of my ability to own a firearm in order to preserve the freedom of this country and myself. And a gun without bullets is useless. So yes, I do have a right to own 50 round magazines. So unless you can assure me that I will only need a certain amount of bullets to defend my life for the rest of my life, people, please stop saying this because it's ignorant, arrogant, and naive as hell. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and clicking the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice, and let them know you wanna keep America tactical, because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident and your state specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section. Or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.